Today I'm staying at the Doubletree Hotel at Tower Hill. I've treated myself to a little staycation over the next three days where I'm staying in a different hotel each night. When I was choosing where to book, I'm gonna be honest, I think you'll think this is a really weird reason why I chose this hotel. I needed a hotel in Tower Hill because I wanted to be nearby to make this historical walking tour video, link to it in the description if you want to watch it, but I chose this hotel because of this, the atrium. I don't know, there was just something about it. I can't even really tell you why. It just made me want to stay here. Even though actually, once I checked in, I spent all of about five minutes in this room because I stayed here in October 2021. We were still going through significant repercussions of the pandemic at the time, so I wasn't really gonna hang around in a public space too much. So, the hotel is in the iconic Tower Hill area, a stone's throw away from the Tower of London, and I chose a standard room which was priced at £119. But while you enjoy a nosy round the room visually, I'm actually going to tell you a little background about the site the hotel sits on, because if you know me at all, you know I love my history, and it really just saves you from hearing me say, here's a bed and here's a wardrobe. The hotel building itself doesn't hold historical interest, obviously. It was built in 2010, but I think the plot where it sits is interesting. It was once a Roman Catholic priory and home to the Crutched Friars religious order. The Crutched Friars carried around a staff with a crucifix on top, which is why they were called that, and they settled in London in 1249, until Henry VIII famously dissolved all Catholic orders in 1539 after he set up the Church of England. The area was also home of Muscovy Court and on it, Muscovy House. Because it's such an important area, we can actually trace the owners of the house back to 1329. The most interesting of which I think was Sir Francis Walsingham who purchased the house in 1579 or 1580. Sir Francis was Secretary of State for Queen Elizabeth I and basically her spy master. He protected her reign from Catholic threat, he spearheaded the plot to entrap and execute Mary Queen of Scots, and also helped to rebuff the Spanish Armada. Because of him, Muscovy House actually became known as Walsingham House. Then after a few more change of hands, in 1654 the building was sold to the Admiralty Commissioners for the Navy. This spot in London just, and I mean just, missed being burned down by the Great Fire of London in 1666, as you can see from this map. But it didn't escape fire for long, just six years later most of the Navy office was burned down in another fire. It was rebuilt to the designs of my favourite architect of all time, Sir Christopher Wren, in 1683-84, and the office was eventually totally demolished in 1788 to make room for warehouses for the East India Company. And now it's a newly-ish built hotel. So if my room is the standard room, what's the best room you can get in the hotel? Well, that would be the king suite, with a king-sized bed, separate seating area, and depending on which room you get, a view of the city, as well as access to the executive lounge, all for £450 per night. Probably the best part of the hotel, and the bit you may want to visit, even if you're not staying in the hotel itself, is the rooftop restaurant and bar. Savage Garden has a truly fantastic view over London, and is a real hotspot for city goers. Obviously I was there during a quiet lull when people weren't really going out much yet, but I have been to this bar before when it was absolutely chock full of people, all having a really great time. The Hilton have this thing called a Hilton Honours Programme and you can sign up for free and what you can do is then search with the Hilton Honours Programme for the room that you would like to stay in at the hotel you want to stay in and it does actually knock a few pounds off. Now it didn't knock that much off of this, I think it was I could see it on booking.com for £119 and through the Hilton Honours website I got it for £113. There are other savings available, it just kind of depends on where and when you book. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed this hotel tour. I've also got some history walks coming up, so stick around, subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.